One thing that when I was telling that story to my dad, um, and I'm telling you folks, it was a miracle. It, if, I, if I could tell you the details, you, it would blow your mind. It was a miracle. But my dad told me something, Brother Shorts. He said, he said, remember Brother Jackson's daughter? They gave her 24 hours to live. I'm going to let him tell that story real quick. Tell about your daughter, brother. I tell a little bit, but my wife would know. <laughs> I could tell you better. But the doctors gave her up, told her that, uh, told us that she only had 24 hours. But my wife told them and the people that uh, she's not going to accept that. She's going to believe God. And the doctors the next day took us in this conference room and told us, uh, went through the details, you know, and said, hey, she doesn't have a, uh, you know, a chance. She's going to have to remove those tubes. She had tubes and all <laughs> parts of her body. But uh, they pulled those tubes out and she woke up. She was in a coma for two weeks. They gave up on her, but uh, God raised her up from the dead. Amen. That family has been through it. Both of their children, Brother Randy Jackson does our sound for us, and his daughter both were, went through cancer right at about the same time. And uh, I remember my dad telling me that Brother Jackson said, Some, I believe somebody is going to pray the prayer of faith. And she was laid on that table all swollen up, and you hear what God does. See, God's still doing it, folks. We just got to hold on. I know sometimes, I, I was talking to somebody yesterday. I said, I'm not going to lay this at the feet of God. I serve a mighty God. I don't doubt in my God. If there's something in my life and the prayer I'm not getting, I've got to examine myself. What do I need to do any more to get him to answer me. Now I know sometimes it's not his will to answer some prayers, but he told us in his word, if we would seek it, we will find it. If we'll ask for it, we'll get it. If we'll knock, the door will be open. We have got to claim our miracle. You, we have a lot of people in this church who love Jesus, who love God, and you can claim your miracle. Don't you let the devil convince you that it won't happen. It will happen, but you've got to hold on to it. And that's what this song talks about right now. Been lied on, cheated, talked about, mistreated, rebuked, scored, talked about your as you're born. I've been up, down, almost to the ground. But long as I've got King Jesus, long as I've got King Jesus, oh, long, long as I got him, don't need nobody else. I've been lied on, cheated, talked about, mistreated, rebuked. Talked about you and your boy. I lit up, down, go almost to the ground. But long as I've got King Jesus, long as I've got King Jesus, long, long, long as I got him, don't need nobody else. I've got King Jesus. Long as I've got King Jesus. Oh, 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 cause I got him. Don't need nobody else.
King Jesus, long as I've got King Jesus, long, long, long as I've got him, don't need nobody else, I don't need nobody else. I've got King Jesus. Long as I've got King Jesus. Long, long, long as I got him. Don't need nobody else. Do you know me? I wanna be. I mean, I don't mind cheating. I've been talked about. I've been treated and rebuked. Scored and talked about. Your and your boy. King Jesus, long as I've got King Jesus, oh, 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 long as I've got him, don't need nobody else. Do you know me? Oh, I mean, oh, I mean, I don't mind. She is, I've been talked about, mistreated, or rebuked, scorned, talked about, sure, and poured, hard and up, and down, almost to the ground.
something God to touch you with tonight or you've got a special need, you got a lost loved one you've been praying for, just stand to your feet. I'm going to say, as long as I've got, and I want everybody to say, King Jesus. Okay? As loud as you can say it. When I say, as long as I've got, I want you to say, King Jesus. And I want you to claim your miracle when you mention the name. When you mention that precious and lovely name, Jesus Christ. Long as I've got King Jesus. 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 Everybody say it together. I don't need nobody else. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I don't cheat it. Talk about Sister, brother, sister Jackson's daughter, come up here. 24 hours to live. Look at her. 24 hours to live, they said. That's what King Jesus will do. Hallelujah. Let's give him praise tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, touch her tonight, God. Thank you, Lord, for your healing power. Brother Ken Hester over here gave a testimony. They didn't give him any time to live. I think he got below 100 pounds with cancer in his body. He was going to die. 
And he leaned up against the wall reading the Old Testament one day about that prophet leaning up against the wall. And he claimed his healing. Look at him. That's been years ago. He was healed by the power of Jesus. If you've got a miracle, there ain't nothing, nothing too big for my mighty God that I serve. Amen. We're going to sing it one more time. Do you know what I mean? I've been lied on, cheated, claimed a miracle and I come on treated, rebuked, scorned, talked about your message for a heart Almost to the ground Long, 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 long Long as I've got King Jesus Long as I've got King Jesus I know he's a burden bearer I know he's a heavy load sharer He'll be your bridge over water He'll be your doctor and your lawyer He'll be your friend when you're friendless He'll be your mother when you're motherless He'll be your head when you're hungry Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, help 
Heavenly Father, in the name of Christ, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, blessed be God, thank you, Lord. Nobody else, no one on me, nobody else, no mother, a father, no sister, a brother, no doctor, a lawyer, a preacher, a teacher, well, long as I've got King Jesus, long as I've got King Jesus, long, long, long as I've got, I don't need nobody else, I don't need nobody else. I don't need nobody else, no mother, father, no sister, a brother, no doctor, a lawyer, no preacher, teacher, long as I've got King Jesus, long as I've got King Jesus, long, long as I've got, I don't need nobody else, oh, let Jesus, let Jesus stay say praise the Lord you may as well try to stop a freight train as to stop the Holy Ghost God's got to have freedom and liberty where the Spirit of the Lord is there is liberty amen Woo, I feel the Holy Ghost amen I, I want to see God bless I want to see the Holy Ghost have freedom and liberty churches are dying they're dying for a number of reasons I preached a message one, one time, the autopsy of a dead church. What causes a church to die? They lose their praise for one thing. They lose their holiness standard for another thing. They lose their faithfulness for another thing. They just don't put it in like they used to for another thing. You get what you put in. If you don't put it in, you're not going to get it back. Thank God the Holy Ghost has been here. 
God's blessed us here tonight. And I'm so thankful this is Super Bowl Sunday. They talk more about the ball game on television all week long. This is better than the Super Bowl. They'll go out there all week and they'll talk about it and they just build it up, 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 up. And uh, they just flood in there and they ain't going to have nothing left when they leave. We got something eternal. Going to last forever. Ha <laughs> ha. Woo, what I got a hold of has lasted me all these years. And God has never let me down. He's always been there. He'll be there till the end because he's God and there is none else. He is almighty, all powerful, wonderful God. But the Lord is good. I said God is good. You live like you live because you want to. You can't force anybody to live holy. It's a miracle of God. It's an experience that comes from heaven. And when God gets a hold of you, he'll change your way. You'll be different. I like to be different. I don't mind it. Amen. I, I'm not different in a bad way, but I'm talking about different with the Lord. I don't care. I, you know, God wants you to be different so you draw attention. Light is always recognized. I said light is always recognized. You can't miss light. If you're in the dark, it starts shining. It might just be a candle, a little candle light, but it'll be seen. If you've got a light, people are going to see it. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Thank God for it tonight. Good to have these precious folks. They drove a long way, and I, I hope it was worth it. Amen. All the way from Florence, South Carolina. And we got them all the way from California. I saw a, a California sister just a dancing around here tonight. She came all the way from Fresno, California, close to it, to, to be here and just dance in the spirit. God bless her. He's the one that speaks and things happen. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for the service. Thank you for the message we heard this morning. Thank you for all the good people here tonight and for what you're going to do. Answers came through Jesus Christ. We praise you for it now. Don't leave yet. God done for her the other night. Amen. Come on down here. Just take the mic and just tell what the Lord did for you. Wonderful sister, a saint of God. Woo, I said she's a saint of God. Uh, come to church last Sunday morning. I had been sick for about two, two and a half weeks, and uh, just seemed like I couldn't get any better. My body was just getting so much weaker. But God spoke to me that Sunday morning. I told the Lord, because I've been praying those two weeks, asking God to touch me and help me. I had such a desire. I wanted to get to the house of God. And uh, I told the Lord that morning, I said again, I said, God, I so want to go to church. I need you, Lord. I said, I need to get to the house of God. And the Lord spoke to me and said, you get up, you get dressed, you get to the house of God, and you get Brother Shortridge to pray for you. He said, I'm going to heal you. Well, God healed me that Sunday morning. The next day, I was completely made whole. I've got strength in my body. I feel wonderful, and I've just rejoiced and praised the Lord so much for being in the house of God. I love the Lord with all my heart. I love each one of you. You'll never know what this church means to me, what my pastor and his wife means to me. We love y'all so much. A wonderful family. Jesus, I've got it. 